Well, it's that time for our Love in the Morning segment. We are entering crunch time for couples as Valentine's Day is exactly two weeks away from today. Yeah, uh, yeah the, 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 the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. So now is a good time to patch up maybe any of those relationship problems you have out there. So joining us on the couch to answer those questions, certified relationship and marriage coach Jennifer Blaine Cool. Always good to see you. Good morning. Great to be here, Travis and Ken. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, we're going to dive right into it. Our favorite writer, Anonymous, is back with another question. Oh, Anonymous? Uh, 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 something else? <laughs> yeah, another one. All right. All right, so Anonymous writes... How do you deal with a spouse who is getting professional help on their own, but the process of them getting help is creating new friction and conflict within our relationship? What do you think, Jen? I gotta say, I see this common scenario. So you're, you're not alone and there's great advantage to both. There's great advantage to getting your own help as an individual for yourself. And there's great advantage to getting professional help as a couple and being together aligned as you're getting that help. Uh, both serve different purposes and maybe overlapping purposes. I think the important thing is to, uh, I think the important thing is to recall your. There we go. Sorry, I had yeah, a little technical yeah, difficulty there the with Jen's there, microphone. Yeah. Hopefully, we can hear you now. <laughs> awesome. I think it's really important to uh, rehone in on what the goals are of the help. Even if you're you're not you're not involved in it, but it's your spouse that's getting the help. Have a dialogue with them about, you know, what are you wanting as a result of this help? Mm -hmm. I will say that as a relationship and marriage coach, most people that come to me want help saving or transforming, transforming their marriage. So I'm going to guide those people to do everything they can to save or transform their marriage. Mm. If somebody comes to me and they say, you know what, I really need help figuring out if I should be in this relationship or marriage. I'm, as a coach, going to ask a whole different series of questions to be their guide so that they get to the right answer for themselves. So, you know, it's important, you know, as you hire any professional to be really clear with them about your goals, because every professional is different and every professional still is a human being at the end of the day. They come with their own biases. Mm -hmm. They might come with their own wants and needs for you and your outcome. It's their responsibility as a professional to, to navigate that. But, you know, you as a person hiring a professional or you um, with a spouse that, that uh, you know, is engaging with a professional, um, get back to the loving dialogue about, okay, what, what results are we after here? You know, what are you after trying to see this professional? What are we after as you get your own help? You know, I, I hope that helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, uh, we've got another question here. This is from <laughs> viewer Kevin. This is not from Anonymous. Uh, he asked, am I the drama for telling my wife I will not be watching the Super Bowl with her? Uh, my wife never cared about football until Taylor Swift started showing up to games. <laughs> <laughs> now every time she watches, she gushes over how cute of a couple that Taylor and Travis are. She even cheers when they show the cutaways of her on TV. So after this weekend's game, I told her I will not watch the Super Bowl with her because it's insufferable. <laughs> and she got upset. Am I the drama? Oh, uh, I man. think I have an idea what you're going to say about this one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Kevin, with love, yeah, you're being a little dramatic. <laughs> In every relationship, especially a long-term committed one, marriage, I mean, you've got to constantly be negotiating. You know, this is your wife's experience. She loves Taylor Swift. Yes, it might annoy you, but she's not aiming this at you. Right. She's not picking on you about your clothes on the floor. She's <laughs> gushing over something adorable. I myself am, am not a Swifty. I, I can appreciate it, so I am really answering this from an unbiased yeah. position. But you know, Kevin, I mean, I, I don't know you. I'm envisioning your living room. Your wife looks adorable doing this. <laughs> Change your narrative with love, Kevin. Change your narrative to something where it's not so annoying and frustrating to watch your wife do this. Maybe see her as the playful, sassy, romantic woman that you fell in love with in the first place and, and let her gush and let her be. But yeah, if you're, if you're going to go to the extreme of not watching the Super Bowl with your wife, 
That's a little dramatic. It's Kevin. super <laughs> dramatic. On. It's super yeah. dramatic. Plus, it's all part of this whole Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey yeah. phenomenon. And if it's brought more viewers to the game, which it has, yeah. Yeah. then uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Kevin, you are the drama, my guy. That is, that is why. <laughs> Watch the Super Bowl. It's fine. I don't understand the anger over Taylor Swift cutaways in the yeah. NFL. But my teenage boys would agree with you, Kevin, just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes you feel any better. Uh, Hey, Jennifer, always great to see you. Awesome to be here. Thanks for having me. Of course. And if you have a question for Coach Jen, send us a message right now on the Coy News AM Facebook, AM Extra Facebook or Instagram pages. And, of course, your question may be answered right here on the show. And, as always, you can remain anonymous. All right, 842 now. We're coming up.